What's up guys, welcome to the video. And in this video, we are going to be playing with Exidium Open EDR on our uh, newly downloaded Windows 11 virtual machine that we got from directly from Microsoft. Um, let me see my tabs here. Uh, I think I, I deleted it, but you can find it um, here directly from get a little uh, Windows 11 development environment directly from there. So, um, Dave Cyberwalk, I'm sure you guys have heard of him. Um, he uh, made a video about a year ago, I think, the Ultimate Sock Analyst uh, Analyst Guide, Study Guide by JG Davy. He linked his um, Notion page under his video, and I recently started um, working on the EDR section specifically today. So I've been kind of messing around with this for a couple hours, um, reading, taking a bit of notes, um, looking at all the resources. Um, and I'm pretty much done with this tab, so we can move this right here to completed. I also combined this with a, another lab uh, that Gerald shows the walkthrough to by Eric Substacks. So you want to be a SOC analyst part one where he goes over a lab um, and he sets up another EDR solution called let me, uh, La Lima Charlie. But that's for another video where we're going to kind of be playing around with the Lima Charlie EDR. Um, but yeah, that's about it. That's a little update. And let's get back to here. So open EDR introducing open source endpoint detection and response. We can kind of uh, read this gloss over it. Um, I'm not going to go over in the installation process as the quick video that we see here uh, goes over the installation process a few clicks. Um, and it kind of shows off some of the capabilities of this uh, EDR solution. So open EDR is a sophisticated free open source endpoint detection and response solution. It provides analytic detection with MITRE atta uh, attack disability for event correlation and root cause analysis of adverse adversarial activity on behaviors in real life. This world-class endpoint telemetry platform is available to all cybersecurity professionals, yada, yada, yada. So telemetry, if uh, we can search it up Google, uh, Cooking on Google, it's just a fancy word of saying uh, the data collected that um, we analyze. So telemetry is a data collect is data collected from a network environment that can be analyzed to monitor the health performance, availability, and security of the network. So nothing uh, that we that should lose us. Okay, so let's go to the dashboard. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So let's pull up our Windows VM, close this out. Beautiful background, by the way. And we are going to search. Um, by the way, I just wanted to mention that I already disabled Windows Defender, via group policy editor and registry, just in case we want to play with malware and some vulnerabilities in the future. Uh, you know, we don't get any weird stuff happening, no funky business. So let's open up the command prompt and we can run a simple command, who am I? We see that we are user on a device, windev2303 eval. Simple enough, right? We can kind of also capture the time. That time is not correct, by the way. It's 2.32 a.m. Do not mention my sleep schedule. We should not talk about it. Okay, so here we have the dashboard which presents us with events processed, investigated alerts, incidents, tickets notified, a bunch of, uh, you know, all that good stuff. So what's uh, interesting here is that under the assets tab, we can go to devices and we can see all the devices we decide to connect and monitor with our um, EDR solution. So we uh, unfortunately, fortunately only have a one and here it gives us the option to search for devices, device management. We see the OS, which is Windows, not the specific version, but we get the OS, we get the name of the device, we get the patch status, we get the last logged in user, and the last activity. So all that good stuff that we want to know when we're monitoring a bunch of devices on our network. Um, yeah, so just, you know, so in this video, I'm just going to be going over the capabilities. Um, it's not many that I'm going over because I've only been playing this for about an hour and I haven't done. Uh, so we're all kind of be learning uh, at the same time. 
So under security and endpoint security, we have we have here our alert list. So this will show us the events that uh, have been triggered within the environment um, with their uh, severity levels, their score right here. So um, this is super interesting. We have the alert status. If it's new, old, we have the device, the alert time, 232, which was two minutes ago. We'll check that out right now. The system user discovery, what type of alert, and the name. And under alert, we also have alert policy where we see uh, all the telemetry that we're collecting within our EDR solution. We're collecting um, telemetry from our process events, from registry events, file events, from all over the place. Um, we're even able to create our own policies, enter our policy name and edit, and I'll do all that fun stuff. So, oh, I didn't even notice this. Here it says the event score 0 to 10 are low risk and 6 to 10 are high risk. That's good to know. Um, generally when you're messing with alerts so now this is the fun stuff we ran a simple command earlier who am i and if we flick this arrow down we get to see all this information about the process the command we ran we see child process command line what we ran who am i the hash we see the path that he used to execute this command. We used we see the PID, the verdict, whether it's safe, unsafe, the device name. That way we have a good idea of where and the event time and creation time. So we just have a whole bunch of good information. Here we can even decide to close the alert or a false positive. We can close it up. Alert status has been closed. That sounds good to me. Under investigate, we have device search I think I'm gonna stop under this tab I don't want the video to be too long um, as well I haven't really messed with too many of the other tabs so here we have the ability to search up our let me copy it from my notes our device name um, it is loading and right here we're able to click it and look at all of this we're able to see the alerts, the admin privilege usage, event trans network connections, local and external IP exchanges, uh, unique logs, users, so much information. Now, under event search, we are able to see all the event types. And interesting enough, we can query for device names too. So I have this in my notes. So um, device name in WinDev. Uh, we're going to see all the same thing because it's the only device on our network right now. So, interesting enough, all the devices that we have been running. So, let's clear this and refresh this. And we see the components here, the device names, event types. And we are able to filter for a lot of stuff. Target URL, source IP. Um, what we're interested in right now is our command line. Right here. That way we're able to see what uh, we ran, at what time, when. And here we see at 232, just how we saw in the alert, we saw that uh, who am I was ran in the command line and we're able to expand it and kind of get the same information that we saw in the alert. But um, under the event search, we're able to query for um, a specific uh, device name, maybe a process and all that fun stuff. So honestly, I'm impressed with this EDR solution by um, um I forgot comp I forgot the name of uh, who is the distributor for this. Um, I'm not sure, but yeah, this was super fun to play around with. Um, let me know if you guys want to see a video where I. Um, mess with a vulnerability we can download and set this up with a older version of Windows around like Eternal Blue or something and see all the processes that are running um, and kind of think on that blue side of stuff see how uh, you know which alerts we need to take care of we need to um, you know I like whether we need to um, isolate the device from the network whether we need to 
you know pass the alert on to someone higher up um, all that fun stuff so you know thank you guys for watching